Hello there guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to show you how to install and what to do about ProMods. So you uh, to, to install ProMods because it's a, a new release, uh, you need a Euro Truck 1.45 and uh, you need ProMods uh, 2.62. So if you head to uh, ProMods.net you're met with this page and then if you go to ProMods Europe click that one you have to sign in and uh, or sign up for it um, you you met with this page and this is the uh, official ProMods so it says you're currently installing ProMods 2.662 for ETS 1.45 uh, you are currently step one of four. So you have to do your uh, uh, def file, guys. So if you press def file, it goes into download definition, Euro Truck 2. Uh, you can change your cabin sound level, your damage, so default damage, no damage, or double damage. Um, you do your uh, vegetation uh, uh, drawing distance. Uh, there's near draw for low spec. Uh, standard draw distance for average PC, high uh, draw distance for high performance PC, and then ultra draw distance for extreme PC only. Uh, you can do all your colours uh, as well. You can set your road map colours and all that, job market colours. Uh, you can do a map zoom compatibility, so that will be with other mod, mod combinations. And then you can do the special transport DLC. Uh, so you check this box if you're using special transport DLC. You generate, and then it goes into your downloads folder, as you can see. That's my downloads folder there. So uh, yeah, all that, it just comes in the standard. And then what you do is you go back to the Pro Mods download, and then you go to step two. And let's go to step two. Right, there is two options. Um, there is one is the fast option. It's the option that I use. Um, I pay 84 pence. And yeah, it is fast. Otherwise, they are split into nine files. And it is really, really slow, guys. It's currently taking anywhere between 10 to 12 minutes for, per file which is not very good at all so you will need on um you you will need for the dlc uh for the pro mods to work the following dlcs east north france um italy baltic sea and libya uh you will need all the dlcs guys it is all of them um if you don't have them, it will not work. You have to update if you're on a Pro Mods. If you're on ETS 1.44, you have to do to 1.45. Otherwise, it will not work. So when you when it when it comes in, um, you will need a download, um, a WinRAR um, to because it's in a zip file. So I use WinRAR. I will do the link in the description. It is free, so uh, you don't have to buy it. It is free. And then what happens is it, 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 it comes on and it goes into your downloads folder. Now on mine, um, I go into documents, Euro Truck 2, and then mods. And then what you need to do is you need to stick all the pro mods uh, stuff into that mods folder then only then can you launch the game right so you launch the game and then it will come up so bear with it guys it is going to start up and it is taking a while so this is this is what it looks like It'll come in Euro Truck, and then you meet it. You met with your launch pad, so you choose your um, choose whatever 
uh, profile you've got and hit the mods manager. Takes a while to load up because I've got quite a few mods in. So bear with it. Right, so basically you need to put it in this order. Only this order because it will not work. Um, it, it does crash and it does make a difference. Uh, so I've got the convoy support mode a dev in because I do convoy support. If you don't do convoy support or if you do truckers MP, you will need your own dev file, which is what you've downloaded earlier. So you put that one in at the top. Then you put pro mods map package and then models package one, models package two, models package three, and then media package and then assets package. That is down the bottom of your active mods. They've got to be at the bottom. So I've got another couple of things from Pro Mods as well. I got Zoom Crash Fix, Pro Mods World Map Bar, Zoom. I've got uh, Eye Quality Map um, Background, and then I got Eye Quality uh, Extended Background and Pro Mods New Icons ETS. So they are at the top. You must put them in that in that order if you're going to have all those. So I'll leave it on the screen now. And then you put all your other uh, mods that you usually have, usually run, all in between. Okay. So the actual pro mods bit has got to be at the bottom. The map and the packages and whatever. The uh, the add-ons for the pro mods are at the top and then all the mods in the middle. Okay, so that's how you do that. Uh, the uh, Pro Mods uh, uh, Convoy uh, Death is on Steam Workshop. Um, the Death for you, uh, for Amer um, Truckers MP you download off the, truck, uh, off the Pro Mods website. So then you go into game and it might take a while and then it should end up with pro mods 2.62. If you don't see that, then you've done it wrong. You'll have to start all over again. You should see that. Um, they don't recommend using a, a world of trucks, signed into the world of trucks. I found it. A lot of people find it it does crash the game guys so they do not recommend it um it, for a simple reason because pro mods is such a big map um there is different ports and things because you don't get it as standard there is different ports and all that and the, the game doesn't like um the the uh, uh, cargo market on pro mods. It's only because of the ports. So that is that. So that is pro mods, guys. Um, yeah, simple as that. Uh, they have updated and they've done uh, a few little things to it. So, for instance, if I close this down, um, I'll read to you what they've done. If I put screen capture back on, and we go into Pro Mods. So they uh, put everything the same in six point uh, two point six one, and they've done all this, guys. These these cities and towns and all that. This version requires all current map DLCs to be installed. It does need them. Uh, the Chrome DLC. Uh, is not required, but is compatible. So you must buy all the DLCs. So yeah, guys, I hope that's helped you. I will stick a, uh, I will stick links in for the Pro Mods website and Win WinRAR. I use Win WinRAR. You could use any other uh, unzipping tool. Um, I use it because it's quick and easy. So thank you very much for watching. Until the next time, guys, bye for now.